Hi everyone and welcome back. So here we are going to talk about some JavaScript questions, some tricky JavaScript questions which can be related to a simple type of statement. So if I just talk about uh, type of this, type of this, this will come as an object. Then how do I identify that this is an array and this is an object? You can use array dot is array. Okay type of argument so if you remember if we have a function and in the function we can access the arguments object so if I talk about type of argument so type of arguments is an object but not like an array but we access it as an array inside a function by just running a for loop or i equal to 0 i is less than arguments dot length it has a length property and you can access elements by index but can't do push pop all the array prototype methods and pretty much simple methods simple things are like two plus true what do you think about this so it's a type coercion will happen true will be converted to one and the output will be three similarly if you just try to concate a string with number then it will be eight nine right it's a concate a concate will happen in this particular case and if you talk about this this example what is happening it's going to be the 91 because first it will concat all the numbers then it will finally see okay it's a string so it will convert this also a string and there will be concat operation right so all those things are there uh, these are these may be a short and tricky questions like a comma operator if you remember how it works in javascript the value of a will be 5 right if you talk about the type of some logical question uh, one liners in this case y is 1 x is equal to y and y is type of x type of x is uh, undefined here so a x output will be undefined okay similarly there are uh, many questions can be there uh, okay you can just compare null and undefined which will be true okay if I just talk, put put these one liners quickly. This is one. This is another. What do you think? I just have a list of these questions. I'm just doing. I'm just throwing it over to you so you can actually know what all these are. Type of null, which is obviously an object. Okay. All these simple simple questions I have. Okay. So here it will be true. Functions it will also be true and why that is becoming true uh, functional expressions right so it is a function which is true so you are actually negating it twice so it will become true first it will become false then it will become true okay uh, simple code questions how can we freeze an object object with reference are, are not fully frozen what that means is when you are trying to create a object like this you can still amend the properties right so how can we actually freeze the properties of an object using object dot freeze right so uh, this is also has a problem i mean if you are if you are asked like how you can freeze a nested property of an object this can be a good coding question like currently if you put a const you can still change the properties const is just keeping the reference i mean you cannot assign object to some other thing that is what const is doing using object dot freeze you can still change you can't change the top level properties that means you can't change the prop one but you can still change the nested properties okay so nested properties are still uh, mutable that means object dot freeze doesn't freeze the object when it comes to the properties that has a reference it means the nested objects and an arrays okay how key how you can do it that you can think about the coding like you either you can do a iterate and freeze the object and create a new object around it <coughs> okay now object equality there are two objects and you wanted to check if both the objects are equal so you can use object dot is method which is there in javascript object dot is it actually takes two argument value one and value two and it returns boolean if you wanted to compare two objects <coughs> so
So if you just talk about this simple example uh, object dot freeze and here I'm doing what I'm doing is through object dot freeze I'm creating a new object and both objects are referred to the same instance right so object one and object two is returning true object two dot prop three because it won't work object two dot prop one this will also not work so object two is unchanged this we have already discussed that how object dot freeze is actually working and some more examples I mean just by declaring a object as a const doesn't make it as a freeze you can still change the prop one and prop two properties I mean they, they are still uh, mutable so object dot freeze works on values more specifically it doesn't work on the reference and array you can't make them constant okay this is pretty much uh, now we can actually move and talk about some more questions which is talking about hoisting Hoisting means there will be a simple questions given to you and they will ask you okay what will be the output of this thing okay so the output of above code will is not 10 but it is undefined how if you try to see this whenever you are declaring any variable in the function that will be hoisted to the top of this definition I mean this function will know okay number is defined in my function body and till this point I know okay number is there somewhere so I will not access anything coming from the outside it knows that value is there but it doesn't know the actual value it know okay it is defined somewhere in the body but it doesn't know the value so it will print undefined this is because this is happening because of hoisting in JavaScript hoisting in JavaScript is default behavior of moving declaration to the top of the current scope block this is how like this is happening and you are not able to get the current value okay so uh, other questions we can talk about is objects arrays and all so I, I will talk about the rest of the questions the tricky questions in the next video